Lance Beezer. We've got you covered. Today's first responders are using Narcan now more than ever. It is the life-saving antidote that's used in heroin overdoses, but the drug's being used at unheard of levels in Rock County. Tonight, Katherine Larson is digging deeper into whether Narcan is losing its punch or if the street drugs are just getting stronger. It's surprising. I didn't think I'd, I'd see it. Um, but unfortunately, it's come to that. On any given day. We're tough guys on the outside, but we don't like to see um, people die. Even the day we tried to do this interview. Nope, the ambulance. I gotta go. The 166 I-90 westbound. Report of a subject overdosing in a Chevy Malibu. Milton paramedic Addison Sennett. It's everywhere. It's happening every day. Rock County's EMS director, Dr. Jay McNeil. It was a near miss. Dispatch to yet another overdose call. More and more Narcan use. Because Narcan, time after time, is needed to revive overdose victims. It's just a, a sad situation. And these lifesavers have stories to tell. When we arrived, he was pulseless and not breathing. And we ended up giving him, I think, a total of four doses. Four doses, given one after the other, all on just another call. Narcan definitely climbs the ladder pretty quick. We've just seen um, an incredible amount of increased use of Narcan. Because doubling up on a dose doesn't always cut it. I can understand why it's kind of surprising. Surprising because there's no such thing as a Narcan tolerance. The user has actually moved on to bigger and better and stronger drugs. Dr. McNeil says high volumes of Narcan are what's needed to get the job done. They're actually getting stronger uh, dosages. Because drug dealers are lacing newer batches of heroin with practically anything. Fentanyl mixed in um, and then carfentanil which is actually uh, used primarily for elephants. And those drugs. They're making it even to um, our small communities. And they're coming from everywhere. There's been some drug movement from China and then, uh, you know, all of the borders basically. And they, they can kind of float it in under the radar. First responders may need to revive a patient with Narcan 5 maybe six times, but never higher than that number because by that point, they would be using other life-saving protocols. A lot of those that require multiple dosages of Narcan, it's ineffective when we have to move on to an advanced airway, uh, such as intubating the patient um, or placing an alternative airway device. It's no doubt an epidemic. An epidemic creating a never-ending Narcan nightmare. People are using more drugs. There's. Uh, higher potency drugs, and it's just more prevalent. Catherine Larson, 27 News. You can learn more about Narcan and its impact on overdose patients during a free event hosted by Hope Over Heroin Rock County on Tuesday night at Creekside Place in Evansville. We have all these details posted at WKOW.com. Now, 27 Storm.